Hello, and welcome back to the Web Dev Coach, where my goal is to teach you web development. This is perhaps the final video in a series of videos where I created the random quote machine for the free code camp curriculum. In this video, we're going to deploy our random quote machine to the World Wide Web. Specifically, we're going to deploy it onto Netlify. This way, we can show off a random quote machine to the world, to our boyfriends, to our girlfriends, to our moms, to our dads, Everyone's going to see our random quote machine. Let's get started. Here we are back at our code. And before we deploy, let's give our code a once over and fix anything that um, we should fix before deployment. One thing uh, that I see is that we're still using the test suite. And we don't want to be using a test suite when we show off our uh, random quote machine to our friends. This is a professional uh, application in production, there's no need to be testing it. Testing is for development. Additionally, we have uh, our title tag. We want to pass something in besides the default React app. Perhaps something like random quote machine would work. We also want to um, import grid in the way that Material UI wants us to import a grid. So let's say something like that. And we import with styles from uh, at Material UI um, core forward slash styles, just like that. And again, I'm getting this uh, straight from the Material UI um, documentation. Lastly, here in our quote machine, we want to make sure that our um, quote is encoded for use in the address bar. And this includes encoding things like um, periods or percentage symbols inside of our address bar. So we're going to use encode URI um, just like that. And you'll see this encodes a text string. So it's a valid URI, aka um, something we put in the address bar. So let's go back to our application, um, which I don't know where it's running, but I'll bring it into the screen. Please hold. Let's see, here's our application, our random quote machine. Let's make it a little bigger. And let's make sure that our um, Twitter icon is actually still working. So it looks like everything is working. Perfect. Um, let's close this up. And let's get ready for some deployment. In order to deploy to uh, Netlify, which we'll be using for this tutorial, we need to create a GitHub repository for our code. So let's go to github.com, click the um, plus sign in the menu bar up top, and create a new repository. Uh, the new repository that I'm going to create will be called uh, FCC Random Quote machine and it'll be a public repository. I'll click create repository <clears throat> and we'll be uh, taken to this page here. Um, we're going to push, an, well I'm going to push an existing repository because I have been saving my work in Git. Um, however, you can actually uh, use these instructions to create a new repository in the command line, um, but I'll be creating a, a from an existing repository. So I'm going to copy uh, this code here. Uh, this tutorial will need a little bit of um, experience with Git, um, but if you follow my directions, you should be okay. So we're going to git remote add origin and uh, git push to master, um, just like that. And I also, uh, with git, want to save my uh, most recent changes where I, um, cleaned up the code. So I'm going to write clean code and also push that up to GitHub. If you successfully push your code up to GitHub, um, your repository should look something like this, which um, it's basically the repository is basically somewhere that holds your code, it should be a mirror of what you wrote um, for your random quote machine, this should be your code here. The next thing we need to do is go to netlify.com, um, sign up for an account, and um, after signing up, you should be taken to a page that looks like this. I should say after signing up and logging in, you're taken to a page that looks like this. At the top right, let's click new site from Git and connect and authorize our GitHub account. Um, I'm already authorized. And um, you'll see here that FCC random quote machine is also already authorized. It's already part of the... Um, 
the repositories that I allow Netlify to see. However, if you need to configure that, if you need to add repositories to add permissions for Netlify to see your uh, repository, click here, configure the Netlify app on GitHub. It'll take you back to GitHub where you can actually um, add permissions to see different repositories. For now, we're going to uh, click the FCC random quote machine, the one that we just um, pushed up to GitHub. Uh, this third step, the branch that we want to deploy is actually on um, master. The build command is npm run build. And how do we know that? If we go back to our code and look at package.json, you'll see a set of scripts. And um, the one that says build, we can run it using npm run build. And what that'll do is basically um, transpile up and build our React application for uh, deployment on the World Wide Web. So um, that is the command that we want to use. And the published directory is not super important, but we'll use the default setting of build. Let's click deploy site here on the bottom, and it'll actually start deploying. You can see that. Um, you can see it's installing dependencies, et cetera, et cetera. I'm going to um, pause the video here and with the magic of YouTube, I'll be back when it's all finished. So here we are back at Netlify.com and you'll see here, um, post-processing is done, site is live, the processing build request is all finished. If we scroll all the way up to the top, we can click preview deploy where we can actually see the deploy that we made. And here at, for me personally, Hopeful Angel, Hyphen, Arding, Heli, etc., etc., my random quote machine lives. I can send this URL to anybody and they can see my random quote machine. Uh, most importantly, the you can copy this URL here. And let's go back to our GitHub. Um, here, let's go to our repository, click Edit. Um, add the website to uh, the demonstration of our repository. And this is something great that you can show uh, potential employers at a job interview, et cetera, of what you've actually built. Secondly, you can actually use that URL in freecodecamp.com uh, to show off your work. Uh, lastly, if you're making any blog posts, you have a demonstration of a random quote machine you've actually built. So everything is deployed using Netlify. It was super duper easy. I hope you learned um, how to deploy all your project onto the World Wide Web. To uh, sum up, just push it up to GitHub and connect that GitHub repository with Netlify. That's all. Um, that's the end of the random quote machine video series. If you like my series, please click like, please click subscribe, please comment on my videos. I'm, uh, you know, looking for feedback. I love teaching, um, this to all of you and I'd, I'd love your support. Thank you very much. This is the web dev coach. I'll see you next time.